This is an introduction to the Super Wiper Desktop NVMe SASH slash SATA Multi-Mix Ports Drive Erase Unit. The unit, built with four NVMe U2 ports and supplied with four U2 extension cables and with four U2 to M2 NVMe adapter. It is also built with four SAS slash SATA ports with extension cables and with many USB 3.0 slash 3.1 ports, some in the front and some in the back. There is also one eSATA port, one USB 2.0 port for keyboard and mouse if the user preferred to use those over the touch screen, and a 10 inch touch screen color display. The unit capabilities are to erase four NVMe SSD and four SAS slash SATA and many USB flash memory simultaneously at very high speeds. The U2 NVMe ports can be used to erase M2 NVMe, like what we plugged here, but also U2 NVMe SSD drives. Those are expensive SSD and they look like two and a half inch drives, but with 68 pins. To connect those drives, the user will need to remove the M2 adapters from the end of the expansion cable and plug the U2 SSD drives directly to the extension cables. Also, the U2 NVMe ports can be used to erase NVMe PCIe memory cards with the use of some special adapters. Those are not supplied with this unit. The special thing about NVMe ports is that in order for the BIOS to recognize the NVMe ports, the unit needs to power up with four NVMe SSD already plugged in. This step is needed once at boot time. After that, the four NVMe ports become hot swappable. The erase application is the same for all the units, so we are not going to review it here. So we are already installed four 500 gigabyte SSD and boot the unit. Let's go to the drive erase menu to erase protocols. There are a few ways that the user can erase NVMe SSD. DOD, DOD Lite, and User Erase, they all erase by rewriting the media with zero, but they are not taking advantage of the drive being logical. For a better, faster, logical erase, similar to secure erase for SATA SSD and sanitize for SAS SSD, the user can select the, to erase NVMe SSD form three special protocols. Let's have a look at the NVMe erase mode. The first mode is NVMe format which does reformat the SSD at low level. The second mode is NVMe Secure Erase, where the firmware of the SSD does the erase internally. The last mode is NVMe Crypto Secure Erase, that only if the drive is supported by this mode, meaning the drive is self-encrypted and the erase done by throwing away the encryption key and then the data becoming not usable. The last one is secure erase where the firmware of the SSD does the erase internally. After tapping on the drive scan, in this demo is not needed since the NVMe SSD drives have already been detected at boot time, but if we replace those SSD with a new batch, then the user will need to tap on the scan drive icon in order to detect them. Now let's tap on one of the drive's model numbers and it should display which erase protocols that particular drive is supporting. We are using four 500 kilobit Giga, SSD, gigabit. gigabit SSD, and what we can see that those drives are supporting NVMe format. For this demo, we will use the NVMe format with a full verification. Verification is not needed in running any secure erase and any of the logical erase, but we do recommend including a full verification pass as an extra precaution.
Let's select the Ford Drive, one at a time to run the erase. What we can see from the session screen is that the load is 1 TB. Since the application have to process data going over the drive twice, one to erase and one to verify. Tapping on the More column, the user can see the progress of the session and if there are any error messages. The error columns come at the end of the session and it can be green, which means pass, yellow, which means warning, and the user should look at the log to see what is wrong, and red, which means failed. Also, the user should wait for those lights to come out. For some slow USB drives and SSD, the erase process can reach 100%, but it takes a few minutes for the error flags to come up. That is because it takes a long time for the drive to flash the da data and complete the session, so the user should be patient and wait. The user can see that amazing speed in the end of those two four sessions. Finally, a few pointers. NVMe SSD perform at extremely high speeds, so make sure that all the cables adapters are ve connected very well and secured with the supplied brackets. Also, use fan to blow air on the SSD as they become very hot and will reduce their performances. We do have one that the user can purchase. If the user would like to exit the Super Wiper application, make sure that all the NVMe SSD drives are powered off before. Manually power them off using the drive power icon from the drive screen.